Now, a very common question that comes up from new stake pool operators, you guys are like the experts. I consider y'all expert level. Uh, you, we got to grow our own experts, right? <laughs> you, and new people join and they say, hey, what kind of hardware do I need? What, what uh, does it run on this? Does it run on that? You know, you get a lot of those questions. So the next question we're going to touch on here was, which, which operating system, which hardware, which cloud service do you prefer and why to kind of help give people an idea of what they're looking at and what your opinions and expertise are. Uh, so let's, we'll go back to Eisting, Eisting yeah. and say, uh, what, do you, what do you prefer? Operating system, hardware, what do you like? Right, okay, so for me, I'm, uh, I'm kind of a technical geek, but I'm not uh, super IT knowledgeable, but what I did was uh, I figured out uh, Ubuntu is a regular updater. It has many guides on safety. Uh, and it's uh, basically quite easy to use as well. So for me, it was uh, Ubuntu uh, Linux distribution. Uh, Hardware-wise, uh, my goal was just to try to use as little power as possible and still redundant. So I figured a laptop actually is perfect for that uh, because you can have a built-in battery. So if the power goes, you still have uh, the power there. Uh, so I went with a... Um, Intel that's drawing 65 watts and 8 gigabytes of RAM because I think the RAM issues was a few RAM issues. So that's my uh, my main recommendation is uh, get a bit of RAM extra uh, and that should make your pool stable. Cool. All right. Thanks. Let's go over to Merrick. I'll just go the same one. Merrick, what do you got? What's your favorite operating system hardware? What, what works for you, man? Uh, so the main operating system I use all the time is Nexus. I'm one of the contributors, and I actually think it's fitting quite good into the ecosystem itself, given uh, IOHK is also using Nexus for deploying their nodes, and it's a purely functional declarative operating system, which I think brings a lot of benefits uh, for also future system administrators. And as for the hardware, I think it's quite early to tell. I think we will see the hardware requirements uh, be a little bit more clear in the future. But for now, I would probably encourage everyone in the testnet to just test it on everything. Everything you get, <laughs> just put it on your mobile phone, <laughs> put it on your like smart watches. We need as much as data as possible to actually come up with the recommendation profile, I would say. And that, that's coming from a guy who did a test on a plane and a train. Yeah. That's very cool. Try that as wow. well. Yeah, if you're not familiar with that, you can go on Twitter and check out check out the images. You took a couple videos, which was very impressive. So that was awesome. It was. It was. All right. So, Mark, you want to go for it? Mark Stopka, what do you got, buddy? Yeah, so uh, I managed to secure quite a good financing for uh, ARM-based uh, Taishan from, from Huawei. So our pool is going to run on the on the ARM uh, infrastructure uh, with operating system pro licenses provided by SUSE uh, for you know uh, quite a bit of discount as well, and it should uh, help with uh, mediating all those uh, spectra and meltdown vulnerabilities that's been found out in the x86 architecture. So that that was the decision for for ARM platform. And apart from that, uh, where the actual staking is going to happen, uh, we also going to deploy a lot of uh, those Cardano on uh, on the rocks uh, as a as a passive <laughs> relay node. Cool. So the SUSE Linux, the one with the little lizard thing. Yeah. Yeah, I did. The one. Yeah. Cool, man. Nice. Johnny, what, what kind of hardware are you running? Operating system, what do you got well, before, doing? Before I say which, I will say in all of my reading, the most compelling case by far definitely has been Linux. Um, what I've read and what I've seen, and there's uh, all the reasons in the world to go with Linux. But in my case, all of my experience, my entire career, I'm a Windows guy. So, uh, and I also have access to um, a, a rack of servers in a, a cage in a data center and uh, with some servers that are available to use. So um, what I did was in my particular case, I wanted to see if I could actually get a node running on Windows Server 2008 R2. So that's a step back. And I was able to actually get it up and running, um, you know, uh, the node actually running and, you know, able to install all the, the proper components. So I was uh, pretty happy and impressed with that. But it looks like uh, on the Windows side, it may trail a little bit in terms of 
you know, everything that's happening with Linux and then, you know, it looks like the support will be there for Windows. So I'm keeping a close eye on how well that goes with the final installers that they come up with. So far, I've been pleased with the fact that I was actually able to get it running on that particular version of Windows um, in my particular case. It's a, it's a 64 bit version? Yes, that's correct. Right. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Thank you, Johnny. Let's go over to Kyle. Kyle, what's your favorite hardware operating system? What do you got going on? Um, operating system wise, it's, it's a Debian or Ubuntu. Um, hardware wise, uh, I've got some colo machines and data centers that I'm using. Uh, I'm also using my ReadyNAS at home, which is just a Debian box. Um, and a VM that a friend let me run out of his colo box. Um, plan to probably run some relay nodes in a cloud place. Um, but we'll see. I've got a bunch of stuff, kind of France, Germany, Toronto, New York. So. Holy cow, how many nodes you got running? Five. Okay, let's do that next. Who's got the most nodes running? I got one. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> I got one half. Uh, one I, have a, <laughs> I have a cluster of 100 running right now. But, but that's <laughs> <laughs> I got between one and 10, depending on how do I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> 100. <laughs> Merrick's going to fork Cardano. 